March 6 to the 10th is Severe Weather Awareness Week in not only the Carolinas, but the Taleslandian River region and all of Eleonoria as well. The drill will be conducted Wednesday, March 8, at 9 a.m. Public Schools, State and Local Emergency Management, the South Carolina Broadcasters Association, and others will participate in this annual event. The purpose of the drill is to test communication systems, safety procedures, mitigation processes, and whatnot. We here at Dravenberg Academy are aware of it and the announcement will be made by Ms. Madsen right after I finish telling you guys. The drill is conducted in close coordination with the South Carolina Broadcasters Association. The state superintendent of education is encouraging schools statewide to participate. South Carolina has received a waiver from the Federal Communications Commission to use the tornado warning product on NOAA Tone Alert Weather Radio when the drill is conducted. During the drill, the National Weather Service will use the required weekly test code, RWT, during the drill. Taleslandian River Regions and Eleonoria's Broadcasters Associations are partnered with them, and both of them are aware of it. Here's what you need to know during the drill. We'll cut the camera to Miss Akabana's class to discuss. Then back to my class, where Miss Madsen will tell us that the drill will begin. Take it away, Ashley. Thanks, Jenny. At home, get indoors to a pre-designated shelter area such as a basement, storm cellar, or the lowest building level. If there is no basement, go to the center of an interior room on the lowest level, closet, interior hallway, away from corners, windows, doors, and outside walls. In an office building, hospital, nursing home, or skyscraper. Go directly to an enclosed, windowless area in the center of the building, away from glass and on the lowest floor possible. Then, crouch down and cover your head. Interior stairwells are usually good places to take shelter, and if not crowded, allow you to get to a lower level quickly. Stay off the elevators, you could be trapped in them if the power is lost. At school, follow the drill, like we are in just 30 seconds from now. Go to the interior hall or windowless room in an orderly way as you are told. Crouch low, head down, and protect the back of your head with your arms. Stay away from windows and large open rooms like gyms and auditoriums. Back to you, Jenny. Thanks, Ashley. Now we wait for Miss Madsen to give the command to start the drill itself. Attention please, this, this is Ms. Madison speaking. The tornado drill will begin right now. Please find a safe haven and get as close to the wall as quickly as possible. Once you're safe haven, get as close to the wall and get in a position where the debris may not hit you directly. To repeat, the tornado drill is officially commenced. Get in a safe haven, close to the wall, and in a position where the debris won't hit you directly on target. Dave will give you all of your commands once it's safe to return. All right, you heard what Miss Madsen said. Let's go in the hall, get as close as we can, and get into a safe position where debris won't directly come at us like we dodge bullets. Kendrick, Aiden, Myron, and Thomas. Y'all did great getting in your safe haven. Good for you. Same goes for you, Mao Mao, Bucky, Don Quixote, and Bertram. Bertram, you protected your snail friend Raimundo as well. Zach, you never pouted over a thing about it. What a successful job. Now we wait a minute for Dave to give the all clear command.
This, this is, is a massive speaking all clear. Three of the latest normal operations. Thank you very much. Good job, everybody. Awesome job, everyone. If you guys have anything to say about the drill, do not hesitate to ask in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll stop the camera before we get everyone back in the rooms.